welcome to another tutorial. Today we'll be discussing how to modify the parts of your kit to make them easier to pull apart again after snap fitting. The main reason you'd want to do something like this is if you need to paint separate colours in a kit um, and they're snap fitted together, instead of masking you can actually pull the sections apart much easier and less, make them less chance of getting damaged during the disassembly process. To do this, what you need to do, what you need is side gutters, nippers, and the hobby knife, and also the part of your kit that you want to modify. This is uh, the forearm of a high grade Zaku. I've just grabbed it out of the, the bits box because uh, just for demonstration purposes. And you'll notice when you assemble a kit, um, it's very tight when you push it together and snap fit. And you try to pull apart again, it's very difficult to do so. And needs a bit of persuasion to open back up again. To make it easier, what we're going to do is modify these pegs so that there is less surface area to fit into these holes. But what we need to do is take off enough so that there still is enough to hold it in place without falling apart, but not take off too much so it does fall apart. So what we do, either using the, the knife or the side cutters, I'll try with the side cutters first, you want to cut on a 45 degree angle from the corner in, like so. So now we have that. We repeat again. So, so now we've got two pegs that are cut on an angle. Now try and test fit them. Sometimes you might need to take more off. There we go. This one here might need the, the second one here might need to be a bit more taken off, so we'll just nip it a little bit more off. Like so. And then we'll just push it back together again. And then pull apart again. Much easier. And um, less chance of actually causing damage to the outside of the kit having to pry it apart. Now it's much easier to do because there's less of the peg inside, so it's less of a tight fit. But you'll notice it's not going to fall apart. You actually need to force it open. Um, and then when time comes to actually seal the piece together and do the seam lines if need be, all you need to do is dab a little bit of glue in the peg holes and then close it back up and it will glue into place. Another method is to actually drill the holes out using a pin vise. I don't generally do that myself. Um, with a peg this large I wouldn't do that. With some of the tiny smaller pegs definitely you could because um, there's less chance of it actually causing damage to the peg itself if you use if the peg's that small then um, if you drill the hole out rather than cut the peg because you got more chance of cutting the peg off altogether if it's a smaller peg, peg. so that's pretty much it thanks for watching